Hi, thanks for clicking on my video. I'm Elizabeth Hackford, I'm the Law of Attraction Lady. And today I just wanted to tell a really amazing story about how the Law of Attraction is operating in my life. As some of you may know, I've set some specific goals on my YouTube channel to achieve monetization within 12 months and hit 60 million views within two years. And I'm doing various things to try and harness the Law of Attraction. I'm saying mantras every day, I'm reading my goals every day, I'm listening to affirmations via audio recordings every night as I I go to sleep and acting very much in the mindset as if my goals have already been achieved and my YouTube channel is already successful. Anyway, something that happened yesterday is that it was my day before filming. Now about once a fortnight I spend a day filming videos for my channel and some of the videos don't make it off the cutting floor but a lot of the videos get edited and I upload them on Fridays every week. So today is my filming day. Now I really enjoy my filming day. I love presenting my ideas and inspiring people and talking as if I'm talking to 10,000 viewers because that's what I'm aspiring to get to one day. But in the run up to my filming day, I know there's a lot of preparation and quite a lot of work and I was feeling a little bit daunted <sighs> by it all and really wondering if I could actually cope with the amount of work that I had set up for myself. Have I bitten off more than I can chew? I just wanted some input from the universe and I was just putting it out there what is the best way of doing this? Is this, am I doing this the right way? Am I taking the right approach for my filming? Should I really be doing this YouTube channel? And I was just getting all these ideas and I was getting into a bit of a negative vibe and I was feeling exhausted. It was a Monday, today's a Tuesday. And I decided to walk home from work. It's quite a long walk. It takes me about 40 minutes, but it was a lovely balmy evening, hot summer's evening. And I thought, I'll just walk home and it would be good to air my mind and clear my head. And as I was walking home, amazingly coincidentally, I bumped into an old friend who I haven't seen for a couple of years because of the whole COVID pandemic. We used to party together and we stood there catching up, reminiscing a little bit. And he said to me, what are you up to these days? And I said, well, I've started a YouTube channel. And he said, yes, I've seen that. You've been very active. I saw that on Facebook. And I said, yes, I'm trying to post once a week. He said, that's quite intense. I said, yeah, it's very intense, but I think I can manage it. I just find it's really daunting making all these videos and editing that's so time consuming. I love the process, but sometimes I get quite stressed about what's ahead of me. And he just said, quite unsolicited, quite unprompted. Well, I know exactly what you're talking about. And I said, what, do you run a YouTube channel too? He says, no, I don't, but I used to be in video editing and video programming. So I know exactly what you're talking about. The whole process of production, filming, editing and distributing and he said you need to have a process you need to streamline the process also you need to take the pressure off a little bit and do what I call a few wildcard videos so it's a really good idea to batch video record so you do a whole day of filming and you sit down and film one video you have a coffee break you sit down and film another video maybe up to four videos in one day if you can but one of those videos or even two out of four needs to just be a wild card where you completely speak off the cuff you're not particularly scripted and you just tell something tell a point of interest and it only has to be three minutes long and that he said will take the pressure off and I just thought wow the penny has dropped this is exactly the input that I was hoping for from the universe and this tells me that my vibration is really at the right level of resonance to attract into my life guidance for how to run my YouTube channel, how to process my videos, how to film them and how to edit them. So this is actually one of those off the cuff wild card videos. So what's really nice about it is that it totally ties in with my whole theme of the law of attraction. And I just thought it was a really interesting story to share with you today because this is what I've been going through and I wanted to involve you in the process. I really appreciate that you're watching me and listening to me. But this happens in life. If you raise your vibration, you just have a thought. It's not a craving thought. You just think of something you'd like that day, something that you need, and you just put it out there and you let it go and you don't crave it and you don't cry for it and you don't pine for it. And suddenly it just drops into your day. You bump into somebody on the way home. I might not have walked home that day, but something inspired me to walk home. And the universe knew that that was so that I could bump into somebody who would give me this 
gold nugget of advice that I needed that day. And while I'm on the subject of vibrational energy, I just want to say that one of the best ways of increasing your vibrational energy and rewriting the subconscious mind so that it tracks better things into your life is listening to positive affirmations as you fall asleep. And I've got a whole website, thelawofattractionlady.com, where you can find a free download to attract more abundance into your life. So go check it out. It's on the homepage, thelawofattractionlady.com. 